Ok, guys, we're here today with New Balance, a huge honor for me. Guys, New is one of the best selling instructors at BGJ Fanatics and also like one of the best and most different Nogi grapplers I've ever seen because he has this mix of catch wrestling with grappling that comes out like really, really cool. And today he's gonna show us here one of his favorite techniques that's the cradle. And he just shot an entire structure all about the cradle. So he already showed me that it's really, really nice and very easy to do it. I think it's something that everybody can do it. And I think you guys will be surprised with what's coming. So let's do it. All right, great. So <clears throat> there's a lot of ways into a cradle. Um, I, because of jujitsu, they do things different than wrestling. One of the things you do when you're cross body, right, is to, to cage someone out and try to retain guard. And when they do that, you can, basically they're causing a scramble. They're, they're, you're losing control, which is a perfect time to go to a cradle. Uh, if, you, if, you, if their head and knees are coming close together to shrimp their hips away, it's, a, it's very easy to lock that up. And now you've countered their scramble rather than them framing you and tabling you, stretching you out, and then they're really effective, right? So my thing is I'm gonna force it to happen. Um, so basically I say I got side man. I, when I'm side man, I, I don't like to stick my head here, arm here too often because uh, there's ways that he can mess with me. I just don't, I'd rather be on top. So I lock the uh, underhook shoulder pin and I like to ride the head. Now, when I'm doing this, I'm, I'm screwing up his bridge and stuff, but I'm also gonna force him to react. So one of the things I'll do here is I'll pick my head up and when he does, he's gonna frame, okay? Now, from here, he's gonna start to return guard. So he's gonna frame, scoot, and that's when I'm gonna switch. Now, when I do this, I'll pop off my knees and quickly lock that cradle, because I, I don't want him to get a hold of me. So I pop off my knees, lock that cradle. Now, I'm locking on um, like this, a finger roll grip or S grip. And most of the time, like in a college style cradle, you're gonna lock with the palm up around the head, but see how that's like a soft, that's like muscular tissue rather than bone. So I switch it and go here with the wristwatch up around the head. And I do that because uh, the bony part of my wrist is exposed. And that's what I'm gonna use for the strangle that we're gonna do. Now, when you lock your cradle, you know, you wanna be tight with your elbows, pull them into your chest. And I try to push my chest up. Now, when I lock the cradle too, one of the things I like to do is I really like to lock the skull up. So don't always think you gotta bring his knee to his head because you're not using it like you're gonna pin him. You're just, just locking it nice and tight, all right? And get good, solid control, all right? So he, he caged me out. I quickly went to that cradle. Now from here, I'm gonna go into the butcher shop, which is getting a little popular. And I'm gonna go from this squeezing position and I'm gonna post and create a circle with my arm. So my hands are gonna hit the mat. And when I do that, I'm gonna angle my hips and my near leg closer to his head is gonna slide into his neck. Okay, so when he when he cages me out, returns the guard, I lock here, I get good pressure, lock that head up. Now from here, I'm gonna put my fist on the mat, angle my hips, and this is gonna allow me to squeeze my neck knee in. And now I'm gonna squeeze. Okay? <laughs> That's amazing. So it's kind of like a choke and a crank and everything terrible. So the pressure you're gonna put on with your knee is more like your hip to drive more weight on it, and your own arm is gonna kind of wrap a little bit and just drive, and it just kind of hits it in. So you can go throw side of the neck. Sometimes you're gonna hit the ear and slide in. Okay, so if I'm here, I can work this. I can ride the head, pick my head up, he frames. Now he's gonna counter. He goes in, whoop, lock my cradle. Quickly create the space, me in the hole, and that. And the reason why I like doing it with his arm out here because you can lock it with the arm here, but what happens is he'll push on the knee off, which will set up other techniques. So if I, if I lock the cradle here, which is fine, and then I try to go butcher shop, he blocks, see? He's blocking, and then now I can now grab his own arm. Or see, I'm grabbing. Pin this in. So now, from this position, now I go under his leg, Ah, man, that's amazing. And to that's like really, a Mizzou really choke. No, so really, really good. if he counters that butcher shop, he's giving me Darce chokes and other things. I just did a Mizzou choke. Uh, so that's different options. So if you don't want that, if you don't want this arm messing with you, you, you set it up when it's shelved on your shoulder. 
That way, when I lock this cradle, he's got his arm can't be effective at blocking my knee from going on the neck. If I lock the cradle here, then granted, I go for it, I can still get it, but he's gonna counter. He pushes, and now I can adjust and, and tap his arm. And the one one thing I just did is I hit him with zoo, lock, lock that tricep, and I grab that elbow to pat it in, put my chest in front of his shoulder, wiggle up for the navy ride, drive off my hips, and squeeze. <sighs> Real, real powerful choke. <laughs> really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, the, the first choke you showed, one thing I noticed is that I, even if I put my shin on my chest, it doesn't work because the knee comes in this part of my neck, right? Yeah. So it's almost impossible for the person to defend. Like, is yeah, that it's, it's going to take up everything. Got it. And it's just rough. It's real rough. No, I, I saw. <laughs> I yeah, saw. It's, it's, not a, it's not a clean choke. It's just going to take everything. Okay. So it's, it's kind of kind of savage. Well, you, and you, you were one of the very few people in the world that were able to mix like wrestling with catch wrestling yeah. with grappling. So how did you create this mix? Because it's it, all these positions that you show, for example, this second choke that you showed sounds like an arm triangle, but your grips are completely different. One hand is on the leg, your yeah. chest is on my elbow. So how did you come up with all with this? that Mizzou, I actually learned that from Michael Chandler and he wrestled at uh, Missouri for Mizzou oh, yeah. Tigers. So he taught me, he said it was like a trick they would do, you know, you, you put him to sleep so you can pin him. And, oh, yeah. and I was like, well, put him to sleep. Oh, yeah. So uh, he kind of introduced me to it. And I just, just, you know, wrestling perspective. Yeah, yeah. That's my thing is like, I, I really recognize wrestlers as grapplers. Oh, yeah. And a lot of times they just can't do the finishes oh, yeah. because it comes from catch wrestling. That was yeah. wrestling was just catch wrestling back in the yeah. day. Now, you know, catch wrestling is pretty much dead except for a couple of people striving it. I'm just like a grappler. I don't really oh, call yeah. myself anything else. When I, was, I got my um, highest stand with GoCor is where I got my black belt. And he did catch wrestling mixed with judo, sambo, and everything else. So I think that's where I got a heavy influence. And I just kind of wanted to find answers. Got it. And uh, since we had a different style of learning, it wasn't so much sometimes in BJJ schools, it's very regimented because they want you to learn a certain way to progress. Whereas I kind of was like everywhere. Oh, yeah. So I would just train with whoever, try to learn, figure things out. And I was just always trying to come up with new ways and some, some of it I threw it away as garbage and other ones work. Oh yeah, and, yeah uh, really, really good. Cradles, I mean, cradles are just, in wrestling, they're the, one of the strongest pinning tools out there. Oh yeah. And I just use it to uh, stop scrambles, uh, set and up finishes. And find a way to submission. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. It's yeah, a good so, passing mechanism too. Got it. Yeah. yeah, so guys, we shot this entire structure with you all about his cradles going submissions and that kind of stuff. So it came out really, really cool. So it's going to be at bggfanatics.com soon. So maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So make sure to check that out. And thanks so much. <laughs> thanks, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Awesome. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.